Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I would like to show you today how to make some very easy, very simple, and very fun, adorable, cute, little, dangly paper clips. Little decorated paper clips with just with some string and some beads. Um, some of you may have some bead collections that you've been ignoring and or broken jewelry or something like that that you want to play with. And I want to show you some others, but I, okay, here they are. Okay, and here's another little design. This is a little pink one with some glass beads and little seed beads and things like that. And these are all strung without any um, needle, okay? So I'll show you how I did that. And uh, it's just a very easy concept, easy to uh, secure on. And then here's a little kind of, this is, I, I call this one Mardi Gras. I don't know, it just looks kind of fun and party-like and kind of like a little wild spider that got away from somebody. <laughs> swat 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 uh, but it's got some dangly beads and what you can do with these are on your journal you can you can put them on the side of a page like that maybe you're securing a um, you know something you're making for the journal and you want to tuck it in here and, and you want to clip it on but you want to give it a cutie clip so you do that and then this little cutie clip dangles down the side of your journal. Isn't that adorable? And they're very easy to grab to remove if you want to uh, take that out. So they're really handy and they're very decorative and um, just kind of fun little add-ons, you know? And sometimes you're just sitting there and you want to have some fun and you've got way too many beads in the drawer that you know that you swore you would use. You swore. You swore when you bought those beads at Hobby Lobby and uh, you didn't use them. And you swore when you bought all those that broken jewelry at the garage sales. And now, now this is your day. I've got another one to show you. Where is it? Um, oh, maybe I showed them all to you. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I, so I made three. So let's jump in and make some of these. Super easy. Anybody can do it. And uh, just a couple things to note in the beginning of all of this loveliness is um, the orientation of your paper clip per se. You want to focus on this end. This is where you're going to hang the dangle. And um, this end only has one loop. Don't hang it on the end that has two loops because that's the end that you're going to want to put on a paper. Okay, so you want it dangling off this end here which would be your single loop end, not the double loop, only the single loop. Okay, we got that. All right, and oh, that's kind of a cool thing, isn't it? Yeah, who knows where that came from? All right, maybe we'll play with that today. So I have a big pile, I've, I've, got, I've used different kinds of strings and everything seems to work, or threads, and this is a big pile of um, not well organized embarrassing to show but it is mine and I love it my collection of embroidery floss crochet thread things like that and I got a ton of this stuff and frankly I got to use it up so here we go I got beads I got uh, embroidery thread let's go to town people um, dig around go down to your local thrift store Goodwill that's I get most of mine at Goodwill and, and my local thrift stores so this particular piece I think was 36 inches long. Yes, I, I measured it, believe it or not. Um, but uh, what you want to do is you want to take a, a nice piece of length, I would say about the length of your hand, maybe a little longer, and then just start doubling it up and tripling it up. So say I'm going to get about four back and forths out of this one. Okay. All right. So that's the whole string. And uh, then what you want to do is you want to make a loop. You want to grab it in the center. Oh, you're way far away. Let me bring you close. Um, you want to bring, grab it in the center, okay? And then you're going to make a loop, okay? And then you take your paper clip and the single end, the single end, you're going to put this loop through that loop. And then you're going to get your finger in there, okay? Into the loop. You are going to grab with your two little pudgy fingers, you're going to grab that. Mm -hmm. It's going to look like a pretzel from when you're looking at it like this. Then you're gonna pull, excuse my dirty fingers, I've been inking and, and playing all afternoon. Um, and then you give it a good little tug, a little tuggeroo like that, okay? And then you hold it tight, and then you come in with some sort of glue. You can use any kind of glue, wet white glue or clear silicone glue. I'm using a Fabrifix. What am I using? I'm using this stuff. Oh, I always try and show you what I'm using. Okay, Fabrifix, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper glue. Okay, and uh, there we go. And that's just going to anchor it. So um, it's not going to come undone on you. You don't have to sweat about that. Now come down to this end where there's still loops connected and you want to free the loops. 
So I'm just going to cut them and now all the loops are free. Now I have things I can, uh, strings I can uh, put things on. How fun is that? All right, so you can go with similar colors, contrasting colors, whatever you like. Uh, I think I am going to, I'm just going to randomly maybe grab two of these strings. Let's see. Look, this guy and this guy. They're kind of in the front. That's good. Can you see? Whoops, sorry. And you might have to wet the end of your string just a little bit so it's more like a needle. Um, yep. And you can even put a little glue on the end of that if it dries, but I haven't had much trouble uh, threading these bigger beads. They seem to go on pretty easily. And um, what I found is an easy way to anchor them is uh, put a bead on and then take the two threads and tie a knot. Yes. Okay. And you can be very official and tie the knot the other way, like left over right, right over left, and then anchor that knot. Okay, um, that not truly doesn't have to be anchored, but if you feel better about it, you can anchor it just so you can sleep nights. And then put on another bead. Okay, just wetting that, getting it all nice and tidy righty. Okay, and uh, well, that's a really small opening. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Sometimes you get lucky. Nope. Um, let's try one with a bigger hole. Let's try this. Yay, bigger hole. Yeah, it, don't sweat about it. If the holes are too small, move on. Move on to a different bead, for gosh sakes. Don't get stuck. And uh, carry on. Whoop, am I in screen? Okay, trying to stay in screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, tie your knot. And that will anchor it. It won't go anywhere then. And it won't come undone. Okay, I didn't do right over left. I, I did right over left and right over left or whatever. Or left over right and left over right. Didn't do it the right way. But... It's probably good enough to stay for this situation at hand. I'm going to put this little silver one here. I have a silver paper clip, so maybe I'll do a, a silver bead. If I'm lucky, it'll thread. Nope. Okay, if I'm not lucky, I'm going to try and put a little bit of Fabrifix on the end of it. Or um, you can even use like a tiny piece of tape, but that, that might be too much bulk to get through these beads. All right, there. That's on. That might be a little small, but we're just going to carry on for carry on's sake. Okay, there we go. Okay. And I would say, you know, anywhere between two and four beads will uh, do you well. Yeah, I'll put this little dangle thing on. It's just a piece of broken jewelry that I have hanging around. All right, making my little bead, my thread needle. And I'm just gonna hang that little guy right on there. And then I'm gonna sew them together with that other little mystery doodad. All right, tying left over right, right over left. It's really, I can, I can tie the knot one way, but boy, you asked me to do it the other way and everything feels like I'm, I'm from outer space all of a sudden. Like I, my brain won't do that for some reason. It's so hard. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So now these are, um, similar colors like in the blue green family but if you want more contrasting you can put different colors in and I, I can do that I can put some contrast in here I can I've got some yellow let me just grab some different beads hanging around I even have orange look at that boy now we're really getting colorful holy moly yeah hang out of your hats everything's going out the window now oh, that's pretty that's a purple one we use that for something else um yeah so uh you can pretty much do any any kind of, you know, anything that you can think of, you can do. And, uh, all right. So here, let's start again. And I guess I'll, I'll do maybe two strings on, two uh, bead, uh, little mini bead necklaces, I guess I, you almost call them here, little bead chains. Okay, so I'm going to do, I got these at the Dollar Tree. They were little plastic beads, but they were so cute. And they're not heavy, which is nice for journals. Um... And they're good to mix in with the other, you know, nicer quality beads. And that way you can have some variety. And uh, so I'm going to have one of those. And I'm going to do my little tie off. And this way you don't have to worry about the end trying to tie a little tiny knot at the end. Because um, sometimes your bead will ride back over the knot and slide off. But this way nobody's going anywhere. That's right. Nobody has a chance because they are all individually locked. And uh, we don't have to, we can sleep nights 
yeah, we can sleep nights and then have sweet dreams and get up in the morning and have a decent breakfast and not be thinking like, oh my God, I hope all those beads don't come flying off when somebody opens their journal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, I used to be kept awake by those thoughts. And um, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes something will still fall off. But, we, you know, we do our best in the journal world. We really do. And um, we are learning every day. And um, it's all good. Yes. It's all good time, well spent. And when you're working with uh, papers and fabrics and beads and embellishments. You just never know what's going to happen. It could go off in any direction. Okay, so let me see what we have so far. Okay, so so far we are looking like that. And that's kind of pretty, huh? And I like to leave some plain. Um, not everything is tied up with beads on it, so you've got some loose strings mixed in with the beaded strings. Um, just so it, you, you can go as bulky as you want. There's no limit. But um, I don't like to go crazy bulky, just like moderately bulky is fine with me. And then I maybe cut these on an angle to give it a little bit of a, a dangly flare. We have dangly flare. Yes, we're, very, we're flaring dangly today. Yeah, so we have that. Very cute. All right, let's make another. Let's make another. All right, I'll just put these up here with the dunsies. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yep. Okay. And let's do a pink one. Let's see, I've got some blue. Um, let's use a different thread this time. This time I'm going to use some waxed thread that is a book, I guess it's book binding thread. And um, it has a bit of a waxy finish to it, which grabs upon itself, which is sort of nice. And I just, you know, something that looked like it was about 36 inches and uh, you can go back and forth a bunch of times. Just remember to give yourself enough length. I would probably do at least eight inches long so that you can, you have something to play with. Yeah. All right. So now I've grabbed this. I'm zooming in. Okay. My, my uh, thread is as such. I'm making a loop. I'm looking for the single end of my paper clip. And I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to thread my loop through the single end of the paper clip. Coming in here with my little chubby fingers, getting both of them through. And I'm going to grab the ends that are hanging and I'm pulling. There we go. I've pulled. Okay, give it nice and snuggy snug. Yep. Mm hmm. And then we're going to get the glue and just tack her down. Yeah. And that just gives us a little extra security. Yeah, there we go. All right, same process. We are just going to free the ends so we have something to string to. <clears throat> I have a short string here, so I just want to be sure not to use those when I'm stringing. I want, the, want some of the longer ones so I have more to play with. The nice advantage of using the waxed linen thread is when you roll it between your fingers, you basically uh, can make something that looks almost like a needle point and it's very easy to thread these little, uh, little buddies. So, um, you might want to go small to large. That's one thing that you can do. Let me see if I can do that. I will, I will attempt to do small to large. Here we are doing small. Okay. Now we want to sew that off. And you can, just sew, you can just tie up the last one if you want to, but I think that it looks kind of cute when they're individually tied. Um, and let's maybe do this one. A little glass bead, getting my little point on the end of the string to make a scissor. A scissor, yeah, to make a needle. Scissor, what am I thinking? <laughs> Who said that? Somebody fire that person. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, there we go. This is fun. Uh, I, I feel like I'm uh, in bead, like uh, jewelry making class again. And uh, those were good times. Those were good days. Oh, I, you know, I, I, I that's my biggest bead. Um, I already broke my own rule. I was going to go three, but I'm going to have to retract and go a smaller bead at the end just because um, I don't have another one of those big ones uh, or bigger than that one right at the, right at the ready. So here we go. Well, that's a really small hole. Well, it's bigger on this side. Let's see if this will go through. This is where you're going to got to. Hold your breath and give it your best go. That's that's all you can do with these sometimes. See, it went. Sometimes you think it's not going to go, and it goes. Yeah. All right, so I'm tying. I think that was left or right, and we'll just call this right over left. Oh, so hard on the brain. But that anchors it, so it's not going to come off. Yeah, 
even in great windstorms. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so take a look at your dangle and see if that is um, dangly enough for you or if you feel you need extra dangleage, you just keep adding beads to your little tassel until you are at, you know, where, where it feels good to you. Um, sometimes I like to make them with just a few and sometimes I like to make them with uh, um, lots, you know, like there's no rules. You can do this any way you want, but put a little more glue there. I think the wax retards the glue a little bit. It repels it. That's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, uh, but that's okay. And um, actually, you know, I think I'm gonna put one more bead and I'm gonna make it a small bead, like a, a seed bead or something for a little contrasting color at the end. Um, can you see? Yeah, okay. And here we go, go in there, go on, come on. No fussing, no fuss, no, no, I don't wanna hear it. Nope. All right, settle down, settle down. You're gonna, okay, all right, everybody's okay. It's like getting all the kids on the bus. Are you organized, you got your stuff? Where, who's missing, who's missing, you know? <laughs> oh Lord, um, okay, there we go, okay. And there we go. A little dangleroo. How cute is that, right? Now you may want to trim this a little bit so it's not as long as that. And uh, I'll just put those over there. Maybe we can make something with those later. Um, all right, so we have a bunch of these growing now. See? And uh, let's make another one. Here's a mm, gold one. And let me look back in here. Let's see, let me try this. Here's some white embroidery floss, I think, or I don't know. Um, but it's like medium thickness, I would say, you know? And uh, let's just see if we can get some of this going. Let me get about three feet of it. All right, and then we'll do our loops. Let me back up so you can see. All right, back it up more so you can see. Oh, we got the shade of the day. That's what's going on. Um, okay, one two, three, four, should cut it, okay? So you go back and forth about four times. And that gives me what? Two loops on that side and two loops in a string, two loops in a string on either side. Okay, so I've got this. Come back in closer. Whoop. Now I'm gonna grab it in the middle, make my little loop. Go to the single end, loop it through, get my two little chubby fingers in there, index and thumb. Oh, let me, okay. Boop. Index and thumb. Grab the end of the strings, pull it through tight, get the glue. Now this, this string will grab better because it's more of a cotton style string. All right, just get that down there. That'll dry up in a bit. Now I'm assessing my loops at the end here, which I want to free my loops. So free your loops. Not to be confused with fruit loops, <laughs> but free your loops. And uh, then pick a couple long ones to thread your string or beads. Now oh, this is a very relaxing thing to do. Just kind of fun, hanging out, playing with the beads. All right, what do we got? What do we got? All right, I'm just gonna pull up a pile of loose beads over here. I have no idea what I have. Um, oh, look how cute this is. It's like a little, I think it's one of those wine things. Like this is my glass, go away. Don't don't drink out of my glass, especially now. During COVID, nobody drink out of my glass. Okay, that's not it right now, but uh, let's try. Oh, I have an old earring here. Yeah, I, I bought big, um, boxes of broken jewelry or mismatched jewelry and stuff on eBay. And you can, you can like do this till the counts come home because, uh, the possibilities are absolutely endless. Okay. Let's do some, get some black and white going on here. I think that might be kind of cool or at least some darker colors to contrast. All right. Okay. I'm just tightening this little end, making it thread like, let's see what I have here. Okay. There's one with a bigger hole. Come to mama. All right, I'm gonna just wet you a little bit and thread you. Get in there. No. Nope. <laughs> so way it goes sometimes. This is a thicker uh, unwinding thread, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ugh, get in there. Come on, go. Okay, no, fine. I'm not gonna fight with you. 
I'm going to use your, your bigger brother. Mm -hmm. I'm just moving on. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to play with me? I'm I'm off to the races. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go play with somebody else in the playground. All right. Get in there. No, no. Maybe it's a string. All right. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. And we're through. We made it. Okay. Sometimes there's a little fuss fuss. You know what I mean? But you work around it and you're patient and you realize this isn't brain surgery and everything is okay the world is not going to come crashing down and it's going to be all right <laughs> okay uh, at least not for this the world is not going to come crashing down right okay so i got that that's really pretty i would like a contrasting one though um do i want to use what i have or am i going to dig elsewhere blue one's kind of pretty i don't know if i can get in there it's a tiny hole but let's see oh go on oh Oh, we're through. Yay. Look at that. So never give up. Yeah, you might make it. You might make it through. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. Okay. I'll put here in the sunlight for you. It's a tough time of day to see the light. Sorry about that. Um, okay. There we got those. And what else can we do? Hmm? What do we have here? We are kind of inter no, no, too white. We want some contrasting. Should we do um, some tiger's eye? Yeah, I got this old tiger's eye thing floating around here. A bunch of these. Can I, can I get? No, it's really small. All right, we're not going to go that small. We're not going to be all silly willy about it. For goodness gracious, we're not going to be here for a hundred years threading these things. Okay, go. Yeah, we're through. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Yay! All right, and um, you can pick matching ones. You can pick. Uh, eclectic style unmatching ones uh, just for fun you know do it any way you like um, I'll put this guy here he looks like he's got a nice big hole all right there yeah I'm through yeah I'm through okay and um, like I said you can do graduated size beads or similar size beads or you can go do small big big bead small big 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 bead that's hard to say um, but then you get this nice little, like a little bracelet or a necklace growing here. Very easy. And uh, there you go. Isn't that, that's just so cute. Isn't that just so cute? Okay, um, let's trim the edges on that. All right. So let's try another one here. Uh, I've got one more here. Move you, move you. Put you back in here. And who else have I got to play with? How about a blue one? Let's blue stuff oh, it's kind of stringy yes it all looks kind of stringy um okay let me just unravel this a bit and these little things are cute hang on to those because they're adorable little embellishments you can just tuck them into little tiny teeny pockets or turn them into little tags or maybe wrap some thread around them uh, to tuck into a journal to give somebody something to play with that would be fun and um i used to do that when uh um i used to trade stuff with a, a girlfriend of mine in town she um she and i used to uh like make these i think she, we called it pocket pals or something and uh we would fill up these little uh, things that were kind of like baseball card clear holders and uh you know i kind of like the project life stuff and uh i i came into this pretty much after project life so i didn't i don't really know a lot about that but um, okay, this I don't have as much string. Oh, don't get a knot. You know what that means. That's a disaster. Oh, okay. What do we got? Oh, 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 we're free. Yes, good. All right. Life is good again. Okay. You never know. You never know. You know, you think you got it all figured out and zappo. You don't. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Okay, so I've got my loops. It really doesn't matter how many times you go back and forth. There's no rules other than... Um, uh, whatever you think is thick enough to go that you would like in your um safety your paper clip not your safety pin um that's for some reason i merged those two together i don't know why okay nice little necktie see the little necktie yeah and we're gonna glue the little necktie gluing okay yeah and in there okay yeah all right then we're gonna free our loops Free our loops. All right. Freeing the loops. Loops are freed. Okay, now we can go to town and string. And, uh, you know, you could also braid some of these. Let's try that just for fun. 
Um, let's do a little braid. It's going to be a little difficult because that thing isn't tacked down to anything. It would be better if it was, but we'll try and just do some basic braiding. To, yeah, yeah, I think I remember how to braid. Had long hair most of my life, so braids were always kind of something. I did periodically. That's not a very good braid. It's much easier if this is clamped to something like maybe if you had a book or something that was right here, you could paper clip it on there. I have a book. What am I talking about? Here. Okay. Maybe I can paper clip this on here and then I can braid. Oh, that would work. Yes, let's do that. All right. Maybe I'll just randomly separate these and I'll just braid it into one big chunk. How about that? Braiding, braiding, do, 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 do. Oh my God, we're going into the world of macrame. Oh, actually, um, this is this is going to be kind of cool. Okay, let's keep braiding and we'll see what happens. How much time do we have left? Yeah, we can, we can braid. We can braid with the best of them. And then at the end, we could put something. How are we going to do that? Put a big one, a dauber. Like a, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get that on there. Um, let's just tie this off <laughs> and, uh, see now, how do you tie it off? I think maybe what you do is you split these things and now you've got two pieces and now you make a knot. That's my theory. Can you see this? That's kind of hard to see in this light, isn't it? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I took my three and I split it into two and then I'm tying a knot. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Left over right, right over left. Probably did that wrong. But there we go. <clears throat> there we are. Secure at the end. If we are, oh, that's cute. Isn't that just so cute on the end of a paper clip? I mean, it's nothing fussy. It's so easy to use up your um, extra embroidery threads and other things that you have hanging around. Okay, so say. That's going to look like that dangling off the side, dangling down. Isn't that cute? I mean, I probably wouldn't put it on a page tab, but put, put it, you know, somewhere like that or something. And there could be just a bunch of these hanging there. Isn't that that's so cute, isn't it? I don't know. I just, I, I'm just in love with that. Um, so I really like that. Um, yeah. So let me put out here what we made so you can get some ideas. And uh, this really doesn't take a lot of beads. So, you know, rummage around in your old, uh, you know, in your jewelry box and see if you've got old, any old costume jewelry that you're not... Uh, not using that much anymore and, and you know maybe these things have other purposes so let's put out our little pretties we've got all sorts of little beadies here some have multiples some have uh, unis uh, here's some unis can't really see the white one too much on white but um, it is a uni and here's a braid very cute and you could put multiple braids that would be adorable too wouldn't it yeah okay i've got a big shadow in there haven't i okay and uh here is uh the little uh brownish style one he's kind of pretty i like him he's got three uh beaded strings so let me just get oh boy it's really hard to see isn't it Hang on, let's see if i can get you over in the light a little more okay that's a little, a little better a little better <laughs> okay well i hope you had fun here today i know i enjoyed spending time with you and um, if you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification bell. And uh, that way you'll be notified of my videos coming out. And my favorite tools and supplies can be found uh, in my Amazon store. All links are located down below. And you'll find my Etsy store link down below where you can find vintage digital kits as well as journals and other things that I will pop in there by surprise um, for other things for you to uh, uh, support surprise purchase um, so just take a peek every once in a while i may do a video on things and i may just put it in the store um, just depending on how things are rolling around here and uh, my newsletter i put out a monthly emailed newsletter and i'd love for you to sign up for it you get um, a free digital image emailed to you every month as well as tips to make journals and also a checklist of supplies plus a note from the bookmaker that you can use at will any way you like and um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
and um, my playlists are linked down below and off to the end of uh, at the end of the video you'll find some links you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Etsy Twitter LinkedIn and Facebook and come and check out the Facebook group because we're having lots of fun over there and we're inspiring each other and it's a really fun and supportive environment people are very kind and uh, sharing ideas and and uh, really helping people through um, you know questions they have making junk journals and junk journal embellishments and just you know tips from the trenches and um there's people of all different levels in there and um it's it's really a nurturing place we also do weekly and monthly challenges and uh, you're welcome to participate or just watch or learn and get inspired um whatever you like and remember most importantly that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody go have some fun Bye bye <laughs>